Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino. Tuesday, April 9th, 2024, post-market report. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff to cover here today. Um, you know, let's start off with the market freak show. Okay, so after earlier today, this market was getting hammered uh, pretty good. Uh, but then a miracle happened. <laughs> Some mysterious buyers started buying it all. Um, I can only guess who that might be. Uh, you know, look, there's a lot of speculation about what's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. Just make no mistake about this. Tomorrow's uh, CPI report, inflation report, everyone is watching this. Uh, I, I don't care what they say. It's all propaganda anyway. But everyone's, not me and you, but everyone's on Wall Street is watching this fake number and see what they're going to fist feed us, you know in and out of every freaking one of our orifices dry ain't too fun. Um, anyway, that's, that's, that's what's going on here. Um, we'll talk more about that, but again, after a pretty wild day on wall street, stocks finished mixed, the Dow finished with a fractional, and I mean like a 0.02% loss. The S and P 500 put on a very slight gain. The NASDAQ put on a very slight gain. The 10-year yield, 4.36. Okay, nothing major going on over there. Dollar flat, slightly, slightly lower. Cryptocurrency is under some pressure today. Gold and silver caught a bid. Crude oil fell about 1.3%-ish, something along those lines. Okay, nothing really going on. But I want to discuss like a bunch of stuff. But I want to cover this first. One of you out here sent me this, that. Okay, this headline here. Let me read this to you. Hedge funds are selling stocks at the fastest pace in three months and stepping up short bets. Now, some of you out here and the person that sent this to me believes that this is a reason for us to get out of the market. Let's evaluate that. OK, I wrote something right over there. OK, just in case you don't know. These hedge funds, this, people <laughs> people have quite a distorted view of, of, of hedge funds. If hedge funds are doing it, then I should be doing it too. How many of you would be surprised to find out that less than 25%, as a matter of fact, 24.2% of these lovely hedge funds can actually beat the market. The rest of them lose money. We're talking about more than 75% of hedge funds close uh, and and or go bankrupt. So what I'm going to tell you is whatever the majority of hedge funds are doing, do the opposite, okay? That should tell you something. Do the opposite of what hedge funds are doing, and you're going to make money here. That's a fact. Um, look up the statistics if you don't believe me. 24.2% of hedge funds lose, uh, well, Make money. 24.2% make money or can beat the market. The rest, 70, almost over 75% lose money. So just ignore this kind of stuff. And I appreciate it. Look, when you guys and girls send me stuff like this, I get it. You know, people get nervous. People get anxious. Oh, if the hedge funds are doing it, we should run for the hills. No. This whole thing is 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 predicated on what the Fed's going to do. And we know what they're going to do here. They must inflate. They must inflate. I'm going to tell you one more time. They must inflate. Um, speaking about inflating here, uh, how's this headline from today? The U.S. and its allies race face a $10 trillion reckoning in uh, the race to rearm. You and I have covered this for years. Nations around the world are arming themselves to the teeth. World War III has already started. Now, uh, let me tell you something about this $10 trillion number. You like that number? It's a beautiful number, isn't it? Um, that's not even half of what we're talking about. This is yet another avenue. Where does this cash come from? Where, how, does, how does a nation rearm itself when they're completely broke? Where does the cash come from? It's borrowed. And guess who's willing to lend? Well, yeah, the Federal Reserve in this case or any other central bank. This is part of... The system that when you know, let me talk about the system a little bit more here. Um, I know there's a lot of dollar bulls out here, okay. Um, and I don't want to let you in on any, uh, you know, anything maybe that you shouldn't know, right, Jeffrey? <laughs> but, um, if you really feel that way, that 
the, if the dollar is king or any central bank issued note is king, you do realize that you're on the losing side of the situation, right? At least I hope so. Let me explain this maybe another way. Um, the dollars that you have in your pocket, in your bank account, wherever they may sit, these are illusions. You believe that they have value, so they do. You understand? If, like, if for example, you happen to charter a private jet and you wanted to get out of the country with a million dollars in cash, let's make it ten million dollars in cash. You're super rich. You got a stash of ten million dollars, and you have it stuffed in bags and suitcases and garbage bags. You charter a private jet to get out of the country. All of a sudden. Over some uncharted part of the world where there's nothing but tribal people uh, and, and wild animals, uh, your plane goes down, you survive the crash. You and all your $10 million. All of a sudden, some tribal leader walks over to you uh, in your nice, lovely suit and tie and now uh, your $10 million in cash. Uh, and you need food or you need some. That tribal leader who's never heard of you or your what your dollars do, you would get nothing for it. Zero. You realize that? It's, it's, it's an illusion. Flash net alert. Exactly. It's an illusion that these things have any value. Like I said, you know, it's just it's a crazy thing here. You could be an ultra millionaire, dropped in the middle of nowhere with some tribal leaders here who barter or you know, whatever the hell, however they trade skin and food and whatever they do, animal skins, they, they give you nothing. Well, they were nothing. You think they're going to take some of your dollars unless you want to burn them, uh, maybe to make a fire because it's cold at night. There's no illusions. The whole system is an illusion. You understand? It's crazy. It's, uh, you know, who was it? J.P. Morgan? What, one of these guys said, gold and silver are real money. Listen to the wording. Everything else is credit. Credit is debt. You get it? I, I I hope so, people. I hope I'm, I'm I'm getting through. So, what do you think about this here? Uh, another arms race, World War Three, ten trillion dollars, ten trillion ain't even gonna scratch the surface. Um, well, they're gonna extort that out of you and me, but of course the central banks are gonna devalue the currency. Where do we get the cash from? We don't have it. It's got to be borrowed. Prism knows what I'm talking about. You understand? Uh, this is what you you're voting to. Rearm to the tune of trillions and trillions of dollars. You just voted for this defense bill, right? And uh, every other one that came before it. Oh, of course you did, because, you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, and you're being told that you have to do this. Of course you do. Now, with that, let's let's just carry on the conversation a little bit more here. Uh, this is another headline from today. How do you like this one? Will inflation ever go down? That's what frustrated Americans are asking ahead of the March CPI. First of all, most Americans have no idea about these inflation reports and whatever they get fist fed by the propaganda ministry here, all American citizens and people around the world. Okay. Cause they're trying to think, make you believe this is just a phenomenon here in the United States, which is not so worldwide phenomenon because central banks are destroying us all by design. You all know that, but um, people are going to suffer more so than they can possibly imagine, because this is all going to lead to a resource issue on a biblical level. It's really the truth. I've explained this to all of you, uh, like you, and they're already setting it up here. Here's Bank of America, the the, the biggest uh, farce on Wall Street with regard to the mega banks. This this bank is probably going under in the next. There'll be the sacrificial lamb here, but copper, copper is not the only issue. Commodities across the board. Uh, these are real things, and these are going to become scarce moving down the line. We are going to run into a resource problem people are not going to believe. This is engineered as well. Uh, and, of course, you're going to pay more. You're going to pay whatever they tell you to pay for to acquire whatever it might be at one particular time. And, again, for you dollar bulls out here, uh, in case you don't know, the central banks are in a race to the bottom. I've covered this for over 10 years to destroy the purchasing power of their currency. They're not going to stop doing that, colluding with their central banks to rearm and throw cash at whatever they got to throw cash out here, They're adding to the national debt, which means you owe it. Okay. Uh, it's, 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 an, it's a nut house. It's a madhouse on an epic freaking scale. But anyway, look, does any of this surprise you if you follow this blog? I don't think so. Does this surprise you? Uh, the, and of course, you know, with this, I just did an interview with, with Lynette Zhang. Love her. All of you love her too. She's fantastic. She's awesome. Um, anyway, 
don't miss this. We covered a lot of stuff, um, and it's, it's pretty pretty fascinating. But anyway, like you know, will inflation ever go down? How about no? Central banks are going to continue to inflate ten trillion dollars. Oh, how about way more than that? And then you got the hedge funds here dumping the market, which means you need to do the opposite. Again, only 24.2% of hedge funds beat the market. 24.2. The rest all lose. So I do the opposite of what hedge funds do. And you, my lovely friends, are going to do okay. Um, if you've been following what I've been telling you to do for quite a while now here, collecting your uh, your monthly dividends, nice cash flow, investing in JEPI, JEPQ, you're doing great, okay? And uh, you're, you're betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, gaining exposure to commodities. I put out, again, a whole bunch, at least five, maybe even six um, publications in my newsletter. Free to everybody. Link in the description of this video with uh, exchange-traded funds giving you exposure to commodities as well, cryptocurrencies. You know, People, look, I got you covered. Forget the hedge funds. You just follow along with me, and I'm going to take care of all of you. I think you all are pretty much aware of that. So anyway, no surprises, no shocks here, but just be ready because there is no doubt that we are marching straight down the rat hole, which they're pushing us down. They're packing us into a rat hole uh, to extort control out of all of us here, and they're going to throw shortages, scarcity, uh, and everything you could dream of. And they're going to blame the war. They're going to blame Russia. They're going to blame the, the, the anti-American axis known as the BRICS nations. I can't, I can't, when I hear that, and that's getting thrown around, um, it drives me nuts here because this is, again, history may not exactly repeat itself, but it sure as hell rhymes here. World War II, the allies versus the axis. You know, we're the allies. We're the good guys. Axis, bad people. It's amazing the wording here. You know how uh, words are important. You have to understand that. Catwood knows what I'm talking about. Exactly, right? All my friends are here too. Magic Mika, Lava. Still miss Lord Humongous. Joe, Joey Sox here. He's got to be here. Joe Potter's here. Anyway. Uh, anyway, people, look, uh, we, we're, we, we got this. All right. So is there anything that you beautiful people want to cover before I let you go? I explained the illusion here. Of the of the dollar, these things are not real. They they actually have no value. They're pieces of paper with numbers. For, I mean, it's, there's no difference. Let me let me just show you show you this real quick, okay? There's no difference between a hundred dollar bill and this. A hundred dollar bill from the, the Federal Reserve, uh, it has value because you believe it does. If if this were being issued by a central bank, this exact piece of paper, and they told you that this was $100, it would be, of course, worth $100. There's this no difference here. Um, so just, just realize what you're doing. And also, I mean, the worst part of it, clever custom performance, thank you, is when you go out to work for these things here, Mark knows what I'm talking about, thank you. You don't own these things, okay? You work for the right to borrow, borrow, just like the government does from the Federal Reserve. They lend you that cash. You owe it back to them, plus interest they create out of nothing. It's the ultimate scam in the history of the world. Ed, I like uranium, okay? It's a commodity. I like all commodities. Yes, spinach, corn, beans, all that. Yanko Novas, absolutely. That's a freaking commodity as well. Uh, you know, to lentils. I mean, come on, people. You know, I'm preaching to the choir here. I know that. I got uh, 1,156 people here right now. My base. I love all of you people. Thank you for being here with me. Thanks for your love, your, your support, your friendship. It means so much. Uh, anyway, look, I think we're going to call it here. We covered a lot, as you, but just be ready. Be ready for the next phase here. They're bringing us to our knees because they want us to beg. They want us to beg. We're not going to beg here, okay? We are the resistance, and we are the revolution because we're arming ourselves with wisdom and knowledge. You understand, okay? We know what they want. We know what they're trying to extort out of us, and we're taking action. We are taking action about it. We're doing something. You get it? All right, people, look, I think we're uh, coffee. Oh, I need coffee. You know, I've become quite a coffee addict as of late. I drink a lot of coffee. Not good, I don't think. Maybe it is. Well, it's supposed to be an antioxidant, right? I believe so. Cocoa. Yeah. 
That too. All right, people. This guy here loves you from the heart. I mean that. Again, thanks for being here. Let's do something with these thumbs up. We need more of these thumbs up for the algorithms. Okay? They pick up the thumbs up. People like it. They show these videos. Do you think, honestly, they're probably, other than me and maybe Lynette Zhang, who's, who's out here really giving it to you as straight and as hard uh, as we are here? Uh I love Lynette. She's awesome. Go go check out her uh, her stuff over there. You're gonna you're gonna love the interview we just did. Honestly, I told you about uranium. I like uranium. I don't like repeating myself. All right, people. This guy is out of here. Um, and I see you in the morning as usual. Until that time, what are we gonna tell you to do? What are we gonna tell you? Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'll see you in the morning.